Hey guys, it's Ender here from the Digital Storm Forums. I'm going to show you how to remove and reseat your processor's heatsink and also how to reapply the thermal paste. Every heatsink is going to be a little different. I have the Noctua U12P here, which a lot of us have. Um, after you take the fans off the heatsink, you just unscrew both of the screws, one on either side, pull it straight off. You'll see the thermal paste on there. The best method to remove this is with a coffee filter or any kind of a lintless rag. After you do that, you need to install some fresh thermal paste on the processor. You want to do this on any i7 processor with a short and semi-fat vertical line, just like you see here. This can vary for different processors. There's different methods. Everybody has their own little tricks to it. You can find a lot of that stuff online, but this will work for pretty much any application. Give you a better picture of it there. Now when you're reinstalling the heatsink itself, it's very important that you understand that air is your enemy. You want there to be the most solid seal possible. You'll see on mine that it's a little bit top heavy. The top of the line has a bit more paste than the rest, so I'm going to put the top half of the processor down first and allow it to kind of spread down so it gets a nice even coat. As soon as it's down, just go ahead and screw both the screws right back into place. No fancy tricks needed here, you just make sure it's nice and tight. Um, just like with anything else that you're screwing into place, you want to go back and forth, not screw one all the way down and then the other all the way down. Just keep a couple turns on the left, a couple turns on the right, keep going back and forth until it's securely in place. When you're done, you should be able to give the heatsink a secure wiggle and you should feel no give between it and the motherboard at all. You don't want to over tighten it, but you do not want it to be loose. Very important. 